Widener University has been a very, very good home for the Human Sexuality Program. In the last 10 years, which we're so excited to celebrate at this point, um, the program has grown both in terms of size and numbers of students, but also in terms of program, curriculum, degree offerings. And just in the last uh, three years since I've been here, for instance, we went from having 130 students enrolled in fall 2007 to 180 students enrolled in uh, the most recent semester. So that kind of growth um, indicates, I think, not only the need in the field for this degree, um, but also um, Widener's ability and interest in growing this program. of us were all working other jobs and that's actually what brought this philosophy to the program is that we were never never ivory tower people in the sense that we weren't practicing sexologists in a variety of different ways in therapy or in education specifically we thought that this was one of the strengths of our program is that it wasn't taught by uh, full-time academicians but we really recruit people out there in the field so that our students could get a sense of what it's really like. And so that's when we went to the weekend format and that we could fit into the building here and we could have longer classes and we could bring people from further away. Um, the tuition was going to be less, and that was what that was had been what I wanted all the way along, is that in order to be a University of Pennsylvania student, you had to have money. So you couldn't be someone of moderate income or somebody who worked and put themselves through school as their main as their main source because. I mean, almost all of our students did work. They had to put themselves for school, but they couldn't work at a job that didn't pay very much. So my, my biggest excitement about coming to Widener is that the tuition was going, going to be affordable for the variety of people that were diverse out there who could come here from long distance away, from their little niche in the world, and develop learning about sexuality to take back to their communities. So coming here, opened up the possibility that we could really recruit minority students, which is so badly needed in this field. The second thing was that it opened up a possibility for us to partner with other programs. One of the biggest changes uh, during the years that the program's been at Widener has been the development of the clinical track or the clinical sexology program. What this means is that people who want to become therapists, who want to have a sexuality specialization in their practice, um, can do that here at Widener. And because of our agreement with ASECT, um, these individuals are then eligible to go through the certification process to become certified sex therapists and their curriculum provides everything that ASECT wants to see in terms of knowledge and supervisory um, um, experience. So our program has two um, important uh, degree areas and we look at the master's degree as the practitioner training program in many ways for people who want both core sexuality knowledge but also knowledge about their practice either as educators, counselors, or therapists. At the doctoral level we really move into what we think of as the practitioner scholar or the pracademic which is one of my favorite terms. Um, doctoral students are studying a broad set of questions related to sexuality 
sexuality, because we're interdisciplinary, there's a tremendous amount of uh, freedom for synthesis of knowledge across disciplines. So we have dissertations that have already been published on topics as wide ranging as uh, disabilities uh, called building relationship building blocks for people with intellectual disability. Uh, most recently I have a dissertation I'm reading on the anal taboo and anal health and the importance of providers being able to talk about that issue. So again, very broad topics in sexuality, but often with a practice angle. And we think these dissertations and the subsequent research um, publications out of these dissertations are making a very important contribution to our field. We are the premier, preeminent program. And if you go to Europe, you go to France, they'll tell you that. If you go to England, they'll tell you that. If you go to Italy, they'll tell you that. I mean, we're just the program that's known everywhere. We have so many wonderful sexologists out there. I could go to almost any university and, and show you people that are, first of all, heads of their departments and have gone on with that. People who have written books, um, people who have written curricula, Teaching is an interesting profession for anybody. You plant a seed, it comes to fruition years later. It, it's, it's thrilling for me to see that we have done, we have put students out in so many places of the world and they're doing really great work.